Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the next episode of Armor Recon, where I take a random mission out of the Armor 3 Steam Workshop. I rate it and I play it for you, so don't worry. That's going to be all at the end of this. Um, now, before I kind of get into this mission, which I'm very, very excited about, uh, I do have to let you guys know, I know videos have been slow this past week. They're going to be slow for the next couple of weeks, too. I'm taking an economics course right now that is a 16-week course compressed into four. Uh, the professor has asked that every day we spend about four hours studying, and that's kind of what it comes to, uh, to be able to keep up in this course. I want to get a decent grade, so if I'm working full-time and then I have to spend four hours a day studying, there's very little time for this, but uh, this class does get over at the very beginning of June, so just wait a couple more weeks and I'll be back just like I was before, guys. So thank you for your patience. I just wanted to let you guys know, no, I am not dead. Uh, and no, I'm not stopping here or anything like that. It's just other priorities have kind of come up. If you guys want to donate, though, uh, so I don't ever have to go to school, I would appreciate that. But I know that's probably never going to happen. Anyway, let's get to this mission because that's what this video is all about. Uh, so this particular mission is called Dusk Menace. And it is written by one of my favorite... Ah, I might even go so far as to say my favorite author of armor missions, uh, Minoc here. Uh, basically, what this is, is it's, it's pretty cool, actually, uh, how this is done. Like, another reason why I'm looking forward to it is uh, some of the mods that are included in here are ones that I have wanted uh, to use in Arma for quite some time, and this is the best opportunity uh, for me to be able to do that. So if you're unfamiliar with the Arma, like, timeline and everything, it takes place in 2035. So this takes... Uh, the AAF, which is a vanilla faction, and brings them to 2017. So it's kind of cool that you have that because uh, one of the things that would be awesome is making an alternate history series that kind of leads into um, the the Arma campaign and everything like that. That would be kind of a fun one to do. And so that's one of the reasons why I've been really looking forward to using uh, some of these mods that are in here. So what we're doing basically is, you can see we're unloading uh, from our vehicle here, and we're going to have to go ahead and move to clear out some campsites uh, that aren't that far away from us. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to expect. Minoc does a great job with these missions, throwing a lot of curveballs your way. I mean, you saw in the intro just the attention to detail he has with something like that. Uh, so I can imagine this is going to be a pretty good mission. Now, direct front, you can see I've spotted some smoke coming from a campsite. Here on the map, you can see there's there's uh, some markers indicating where some campsites are. What is helpful to me is by now having a point of reference to where these campsites are on the map compared to their actual location thanks to the smoke, I can basically see that they're uh, not too far off. So that does allow me to help kind of plan some of these attacks. Oh, thank you for the save, Minoc. I appreciate that one. Um, okay, so we're going to push up here. And you can see I've got a squad size element with me. I've got everybody holding fire right now just because based off of what we saw on the map, we're going to be heading into the woods. And I don't want anybody to kind of get spooked, start shooting, something like that before I get a chance to prepare a decent attack. From what I can see right here, I've got some uh, guys behind some sandbags directly up front. Looks like we got some tents. This is definitely campsite uh, number one here on the list for us to try and take out. Okay, so I'm going to get everybody to kind of move up here. We're going to move together. I will admit right here, I'm using my AI as a meat shield. Oh, but they've already engaged us. Okay, time to open fire. I'm surprised that they saw us, but, you know, we are kind of moving pretty fast standing up out in the open. Okay, now it looks like we may have an opportunity to kind of pop up again on them here. We've got this terrain... That does mask our advance here a little bit, but I'm not going to go too crazy with this. Since they're firing in our direction, I'm just going to keep moving this way. Now, it looks like they have pop smoke. Nobody's firing at me right here, so it's masking their fire as well as ours. Let's try to see if we can get everybody together right here. Just trying to stick with me. Make sure they get into some cover here at least, too. And once this smoke subsides, we should all be able to open up on the enemy at once. In fact, they're already firing at me even though I can't see him, but that's that's the AI here for you. Dang, what did he smash? Was he going for that quad bike up there? All right, got some terrain masking over here off to the right. We're going to get in this defilade here. 
and use it to kind of move forward here to mask my advance. Everybody else is going to move up here too. They're going to be a little bit slower as they're at combat pacing, so they bound and stuff like that. I'm just moving directly right here. Now what I could do is probably just lob some grenades up there, but I want to save those if I absolutely have to. One of the things, if I can get all the way around here, is if there are some people behind these sandbags that I can't see, like that guy right there, just a few shots, and this guy's going to be down. Cool. Now, who's firing at me? What? Is that somebody in the campsite right there who shot me through the sandbags? All right. Where is he? Okay, they called target down, so... Actually, maybe he wasn't up there. I don't know. Okay, so this was actually camp two. That one's neutralized. Okay, so it's time to move up to the next one. All right, so there's nothing here I can really use, so it's just time to get moving. Let's get everybody together here. Oh, thank you again for the save, Minoc. All right, still got plenty of ammunition here, so I'm not going to be too concerned about it this entire mission. Instead, I'm just going to be worried about staying alive here. But man, I I do love the way that these uniforms go because uh, knowing how you know they have the digital camo and everything like that in the game, this is a great way to like show the segue from modern day to the 2035. I I do love this mod. This is pretty sweet. That would be a cool alternate history series to make it like you know what it was like on Altus and Stratus in 2017 and come up with events that bring about what happened in 2035. Dang. Too bad that sounds like a really big project for me. You know, if you guys want to support the channel so that way I never have to work, we could do something like that. Gosh, I feel like I've had shameless plugs in here. Anyway, let's pick up the pace here and get moving. Uh, trying to look for any patrols that could be out here right now. Of course, looking to see if there is some more campfire smoke that will give us confirmation of a location. And I think I might be seeing it up here. Yep, more sandbags. And a campfire, so perfect. This, guys, is why you are very careful, or you need to be very careful about fires in a combat area. Okay, we're going to learn from our, our mistake last time. We're going to stay low. We're going to move slow. There's no rush here at this point. It's not like this is timed or anything like that. We don't have objectives to complete before a certain time period. Let's just go ahead and clear this out. Uh, if anything... Should probably have uh, the sun be something we're a little bit concerned about. As it gets darker, I guess I haven't checked my pack to see if I have NVGs or anything like that. Probably should. Okay, so a lot of guys have picked out targets. Let's get everybody in a line here to make this a lot easier for us. And then everybody, since they have targets selected, we can just open up at the same time. All right, left side's almost all together. Same thing with the right side. I just realized that guy used the only AT4 that we had. I genuinely hope we don't come up against any vehicles while we're in here. All right, let's do this. Open fire. Okay, I got one hit on this guy. Got him. Now, a lot of them are moving from left to right. Trapped another one here. So that being the case here. Oh, there's somebody. Now are they moving right to left? Trying to stick his head around that tree. It ends up being the last thing he does. We've got somebody firing right there. And I'm not going to be able to hit him from where I was. So I've repositioned. Just moving about a foot to the left. And then he gets behind this tree. Okay, here we go. Dang it, got to reload here. He's in the prime position for me to eliminate him. Of course he gets up. Okay, am I going to be able to hit him right here? This is going to be a tough shot. Ha ha! We made it. Okay, we're not taking any fire. But same thing as last time. We may see some guys behind these sandbags. Remember, we're still in the line here, but everybody's staying low. We're going to move together. And we should be good. 
Just creep up here a little bit at a time. Again, we've got some terrain in front of us for cover. Got to move slow. Reason why is if we do have somebody behind sandbags, since I'm not flanking them and continuing with this direct assault, they could just pop up from behind some of these sandbags. I want to make sure I've got enough distance between me and them that they may miss some shots before I can move up on them and aim. Okay, so there is somebody alive back here behind these sandbags. The tents was basically protecting him. If I can get my aim down, maybe shoot through the tent. Oh, we got somebody off to the right here too. Okay, this is not working too well. All right, maybe he's forgotten about me. Nope. Dang it, everybody come help me. I'm taking some fire. Time to back up. Is that fire coming from my right by chance? Okay, two guys were neutralized. I only saw two guys, so that might have been it. Maybe I moved up way too far. Okay, I don't see the guy who is behind those sandbags. Oh, there's somebody up in the trees there. All right, come on. Got to drop him. It's hard to maintain a steady aim here. But he's down now. Okay, we're good. Somebody else off over to the left here. That are up in these trees. I can't see. I mean, I see the leaves falling, but they've... They're saying he's neutralized. Okay, we're good. See, that's what I was talking about. There's probably going to be somebody... Ooh, there, there's still somebody in the camp here. You say I wouldn't be surprised if we got... Got flanked here while we were focused on what was directly in front of us. Reload, see if we ended up getting the kill here on this guy. Yep, we did. Oh, still a guy in his awesome fedora behind these these sandbags. This is a good time to log, uh, throw a, a grenade at him. Incendiary smoke. But it's not doing anything. It's not doing a single thing at all. I can't even see the guy. All right, he's down. Okay. Neutralize camp one. Okay, so with that incendiary grenade. Man, that was bright. Everybody knows where we are. Here I am talking about be careful about fires in a combat zone. But then again, I'm sure everybody heard the exchange of gunfire. Thank you again for the save, Minoc. We're going to move up uh, this hill here. We've got one left. It's uh, not too far away. Are they equidistant from each other? Anyway, I can hear a chopper overhead. I'm not too worried about it if it is hostile while we're here in these woods. Okay, so it's time for us to, to get moving here. Same thing as last time. I mean, I've got enough stamina where I'm good with with kind of moving here at a, at a combat pace, just jogging. Though... With the changes in terrain, I might experience some slowness at some point as it may sap some of my uh, stamina here as I move. But everybody's got to... It's going to take them some time to get caught up with me and everything just because they have to like move around the trees and stuff like that where I can just evade them. Okay, so I've moved this way so I can come in directly from the north. Now it looks like, as you can see, it's it's up this hill. So once we get up this hill, and this is what I was talking about with some of the stamina here. It may slow us up here a little bit. Gosh, those guys. Hurry up. I don't want those guys to take a ton of time getting up to us here. But I'll have to stop here at some point. Might as well take a stamina break here and just kind of move up a little bit at a time. Oh, there's there's a couple guys down there. Ho, ho, ho. Am I lucky? Ah, dang it. I forgot to tell those guys to hold fire. All right. Fire in their general direction. There's somebody else still over there. Okay, he's down. Not bad. I think I got one. They got one, too. Okay, so I'm wondering if they know now that we are, of course, moving up this hill. Well, I can't take this too slow here. All right, we got to keep moving. Now that I know that there are some people on this hill, 
all the more reason to kind of be a little bit more cautious. Keep turning. Checking my left and my right. Oh, patrol right in front of us. Dropped him. There's another guy. Somewhere directly right in front of me. There he is. Muzzle flashes. Oh. All right, that's two I just dropped. Where is everybody? Keep coming up here, you guys. I got two stragglers who are kind of moving pretty slow. Now, it could be that they're wounded. I guess I probably should at some point go back there and, and check on them to see if that's what's slowing them up. But I am concerned about what we've got directly up in front of us here at the top of this hill because that is where the campsite is. Now, I don't want anybody like rushing down at us or anything right here. So unless I know it's safe, I'm not going to worry about those two stragglers quite yet. See, the thing is, is if they are wounded, it can't be too terribly bad because uh, down on the bottom left where it shows you your squad, um, they're not showing up wounded, though. That could be a glitch. Oh, we got a, got a technical right up there. We got somebody manning the technical looking right in this direction, and he's open fire at us. So it's time for me to try and take him out here. Only thing I can hope to do, since I don't have anybody with AT... Oh, somebody else has jumped in there. Is I gotta try to take out anybody who goes up to man that gun. We lost somebody. Dang. Okay, but that was the greatest threat. So, don't come from the north. You've got a, a technical face in you. Man, it should have came up from another direction. But there's honestly no way I could have known. Now, here's the time to lob some grenades. So, here we go. Going to try and scatter these ones around since I got plenty of them. Okay, so I've basically made one line here. Oh, we still got somebody up here. He's down. Oh, that armored vehicle. Is that one? I think that one might be down. Actually, no. Okay, yes. This one to the right here is it's not active. Oh, they're turning on their their flashlights here. That's gonna make them easy targets. I've got to keep trying to clear this campsite though. So I'm gonna let them focus on whoever's trying to move up on us. Oh. Okay, I know where the last guy is. I might try just lobbing a grenade over in that direction. If I can't get any hits with this sporadic fire right here. Let me move out here. I'm not taking fire, so let's throw that grenade just to be sure. Cool. All right, now I'll patch myself up here. Let's wait to see if that marker... Yep, neutralize camp three. Perfect. Okay, so with all these camps neutralized, what I need to do here is go ahead and get back to the rendezvous point with my own armored vehicle that we saw just a little bit ago. So again, thank you for the save. Uh, these type of saves made me, or make me wonder if uh, we're gonna be coming up on any like surprises or something like that on the way back. So I am gonna be, be very, very careful. Again, it is, it is dark. We've got a ways that we have to go back through the, the campsites and everything that you know we were, uh, we were going through earlier. So let's see how, how this one goes. Now, we've lost four, five, and seven from my team. So significant casualties here for us. But we did accomplish this mission. That's not bad at all. Okay, so my guys are going to have their flashlights on, which is cool. I mean, I love that, that effect actually quite a bit. Um, but made it all the way back. There was really zero problems at all. I uh, came under no contact with the enemy. So really all we need to do is just go ahead and load in and call this one good here for today. So now with this mission complete, I'm going to go ahead and go into the uh, ratings here for this one. So to start it off here, mission difficulty, I'm going to go ahead and give this one uh, four out of five stars. I think this was really good as far as the overall balance goes. I mean, when you've got a squad size element, you don't want to be going up against like two people. Oh, don't leave without me. Um, you also don't want to be going up against 50 people or something like that. So, 
That being the case, I thought there was a really good balance here with difficulty. You know, being in the woods, stuff like that. Uh, the enemy did throw a couple surprises our way, but we also uh, got to spring the trap on them here a little bit by using uh, the smoke and everything from, from their campsites, which is definitely a realistic tactic that you would want to use. So I thought that was pretty balanced right there. Uh, creation complexity. I'm going to go ahead and give this one uh, four and a half out of five stars. Um, I thought this was, you know, the introduction at the beginning was, was great. Uh, I think that definitely added a lot uh, to the complexity of it. You know, building something that detailed for the introduction is good. I thought this was a great use of uh, the loadouts as well. That's something that I think is, is a pretty important part of these missions. You know, you don't have anything too crazy. And one of the things that I, I really appreciated about this, and, and sometimes this can be a negative thing, um, but in this case, I thought it was a, a positive, is there wasn't too much in here as far as uh, very, very complex stuff. It was... It was very nice that I, you know, you don't have all these scripts that will go ahead and further complicate the mission or add these things that you weren't necessarily prepared for. It was a very straightforward experience with this one. Um, fun factor, I'll go ahead and give this one uh, three and a half out of five stars. Uh, this was definitely a fun mission. Don't get me wrong, um, but you know, going through clearing camps and stuff like that is is something that uh, I'll, you know you can find in a lot of other missions. So there wasn't necessarily too much that was unique here. Uh, not like the Bariga intervention or anything like that here where, you know, you're playing as Spesnaz and you're kind of clearing out the area and stuff. The the story uh, and, and the mission I thought was a lot more unique in that one uh, than this one. But that's not to say though that this wasn't a fun mission to go ahead and go through. I definitely thought it was. Um, you know, sometimes it is nice to have these type of straightforward missions and that can be very fun too. Uh, presentation. A lot of the things here I'm going to go ahead and give him four, which is, uh, again, going to be, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him four and a half out of five stars here. One, I thought that the uh, presentation was, was great. You know, that introduction at the beginning, awesome, helped tell the story. There was a decent story that was written for this and everything, too. Uh, I did like the time of day that it took place. And, you know, as I mentioned at the very, very beginning, the fact that this is using uh, the Altus Armed Forces mod from 2017 is, is really, really great. I thought this was done very well uh, using that mod. It wasn't anything, uh, I mean, it added some, in some ways, some realism uh, to this because it wasn't that out of the ordinary. So overall, just a, a great, great mission. So the overall rating I'm going to give for this one, four out of five stars for Minoc. Again, a great score uh, for what I give for these missions. I'm usually pretty rough on stuff, but this was a, a very refreshing, straightforward mission to be able to play. It's not like a, a three hour long mission or anything like that at all. You pick it up, you play it, it it's great. So great job, Minoc. Uh, if you watch this video like you did the last one where I played uh, of your missions, again, thank you for making this. You do a lot of great work, so please keep it up, man. I definitely appreciate it. Um, but again, that's going to be it here for this video. So go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, subscribe for more of this type of stuff because I'm going to continue making missions uh, out of or continue raiding missions out of the Arma 3 Steam Workshop. Uh, please consider joining our Discord. We've got community events that we discuss in there, a number of other topics as well with each other. And uh, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon. It goes to help out quite a bit. Uh, so please continue to help out there. It's greatly appreciated. You guys are very, very generous. So thanks again for watching War is Out. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.